Many high schoolers don't enjoy reading today because for years they've been forced to read books that just don't apply to their lives or that they don't choose. So maybe if these high schoolers got to choose books that they actually wanted to read, then maybe schools would be filled with kids that love to read. Now, personally, I didn't always enjoy reading. That was until my parents taught me my interests, and through my interests, I learned to find books that interested me. So now that I love reading, I found a lot of books ranging from small to big to nonfiction to fiction, and through reading all of those books, I've learned how to choose a good book. Now, choosing a good book can be easy if you know what you're doing. Knowing how to choose a good book is important to you because reading is a life skill, but you can also enjoy reading a lot if done correctly. In the next few minutes, I will show you three ways on how to choose a good book, ranging from the appearance of the book, interest of the reader, and Goodreads. Starting with the appearance of the book, a lot of people say, don't judge a book by its cover. But for any good reader, I think that's exactly what you should do. So for example, The Notebook. When you first look at it, you see romance. and if that interests you, then you might want to keep looking at the notebook. But for me, I'm not really interested in that today. So another example would be the Maze Runner. If you look at the Maze Runner, you might see a little more intrigue or mystery because the maze leads into blackness and you might wonder what's in there. So that might just be a little more interesting. So after you find a cover that fits your interests and you might like, then um, then you look at the size of books. So the Maze Runner is a little more average size. So if you don't read a lot, then you might want to start with something like the Maze Runner. But if you're a little more avid reader and you want more of a challenge, you might want something like Ready Player One, where it's a little bigger. Now after you've found a book that has an interesting appearance, you move on to the interests of the reader. Books vary a lot. Fiction, nonfiction, and you could read a book about a real life person, or you could read a book about an alien invasion. But What's important about finding a book is what your interests are. So for interests, you don't really know what a book is just looking at the cover. So you want to find the synopsis of the book. So if it's a paperback book, you look at the back cover, or if it's a hardcover book, you want to look at the inside flap. And this synopsis just tells you a lot, like the genre, what the book's about, and who the main character is. So for the Maze Runner, it's a part of the synopsis is when Thomas wakes up in the lift, the only thing he can remember is his name. He's surrounded by strangers, boys whose memories are also gone. So this shows you who the main character is, Thomas. So if you're a boy, you might like this book more because you can relate to a guy main character a little better than a girl, whereas if you're a girl, you might relate better to a girl main character. So after finding a book that may interest you, you can use this super helpful website called Goodreads. It's really easy to use. You just go into Google and you type in Goodreads and you click on the first link as shown right here. And then after clicking on that link, it'll bring you to this website. And from there, you'll just scroll down a little until you find a box that says search and browse books. And from there, you type the title of your book or the author. And for today, you do typing the Maze Runner. And then you click search. And then it'll come to this screen. And then you click on the Maze Runner again. And then it shows this screen, which is really important. Because from this screen, you can see a lot, such as the ratings. On Goodreads, it, the Maze Runner has a 4.03, which is really good. Anywhere out of a 4 out of 5 stars is really good. But you can also see how many people have rated it, which, which is over 860,000 people, which is a lot of people. So you get more of a feel for it since more people have rated it. Along with that, you can also see reviews of the Maze Runner. So you could read one star review or a five star review and really get a feel for what the book is about based on what people say. And to do that, you just go to the little review link and click on it, and then there's all reviews. So say you end up reading The Maze Runner, and you really like it, and you want to read more books like The Maze Runner. That is good for Goodreads, too. So for Goodreads, it says, readers also enjoy. And then you just go and click on that, and it'll give you a list of books that are similar to The Maze Runner that you might also like. So using these three easy steps to help you choose a good book, I hope that you've learned how to choose a good book and that by knowing this information, you give books more of a chance. And if you already love to read, hopefully one of these steps will help you find your next favorite book. Thank you.